I want to add one more part here to our very long chapter, chapter 3, and um, let's just call it calculations. Because the other part to this that I want us to be able to do is that if I give you a um, set of equations that I want you to be able to write out, uh, to be able to solve mathematically what that um, equilibrium price and quantity would be. So that would mean something like having a demand curve, which looks like this. So I'm making up these numbers here. Um, but the idea is that you would want it to be um, negative because of the nature of the demand curve being downward sloping. And that for the supply curve, it would be positive. So to solve equilibrium price and quantity, what I need to do is I need to set the equations equal to each other. then solve for p, then substitute p into either equation. Let's do that. 300 minus 2p equaling negative 80 plus 6p Add to p, add to p, that gives me 8p, I'm going to add 80, add 80, that's going to equal 380, then I'm going to divide each side by 8, so that I am basically stuck with p equaling 47.5. Now that right there is my equilibrium price. So now what I'm going to do is substitute that into either equation to solve for the uh, quantity. I'm going to substitute it into both because I should get the same number. And I do. And there we go. We now have our way of calculating the um, equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity.